just checked into the new spot. Look at this view though. Here's the room. First time ever staying in something like this. It's literally a bubble. We're staying in a bubble. <laughs> With a sick view out there. Yeah, it's like a tiny room. And you come out here, with the bubble bath. We got some chairs. Got that Bali thing that people love. That death net. And check out this sick view. Like, oh my god, I've never stayed at some place this high up. And you come back here. Bathroom, toilet, shower. Pretty much it. Simple. Dinner is ready. We got some shabu shabu we ordered. Got the vegetables right there. Got the broth. I don't know what sauce that is. Got the bowl. Got some rice. This beautiful view. So we're gonna enjoy this. This is here, sausages, some eggs, ham, soup, apples, salad, which we're not going to touch, and orange juice. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, he's licking his pan. <laughs> he's like, hey. So today we're doing temple hopping. We're at Wat Suan Dock, a Buddhist temple that's right behind us. And yeah, just gonna check it out and all its beauty and just indulge in the culture. And there's a monk. Hello. So we just bought the entrance fee. It's 20 baht. And now Sandra has to cover up her legs. Oh. I'm apparently good because she saw, she saw the legs. <laughs> She's like, you can't cover those up. Here at breakfast, 99% of the time I don't eat breakfast just because I'm not one of those people that gets hungry in the morning. I usually eat really heavy dinners, so by the time morning comes, I'm still pretty full still. But this hotel comes with a free continental breakfast, and it's not like the continental breakfast in the States where they just give you like a couple pieces of toast and pastries. They have like a full on buffet here with the omelet person. This is the first time I had like a free breakfast with the egg person. That makes just like a perfect egg. Like, look at this. It's like a flipping dragon egg or something. I just got egg whites, ham, some bell peppers, mushrooms, just to get the protein in. Told them light on the oil because I don't think they really have ham or anything here. Got some fruits for some micronutrients. Got some drunken noodles for the third night in a row. This is so fucking good. Hash browns because, yeah, they're over 9,000. And jasmine rice and baby stilling pastries. Like five. Okay, you got your wish. Oh, and she's still going. Holy moly, the stinking feet of family. Her kids. Yeah. The oh, fresh coconut know. that she shaved off the hood. Oh shit, she tops on top? Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, even more coconut. Chocolate. Oh, shit, yeah, chocolate. chocolate. Thank, Thank you. you. 70 baht for this 13 scoop coconut deliciousness. Coconut on coconut on coconut. So we're gonna try this out. 
fucking love coconut. You got the hood meat right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. So it is like two bucks in America. It's amazing. Even the peanuts are good. <laughs> Our first pad thai in Thailand. Can't believe it. Look at that. Squirt some lime on that. Ooh. Then we got drunken noodles. And we got is this curry chicken is this coconut curry we have no idea what curry it is i don't think it's coconut curry though but whatever it looks good first meal in thailand we got one of my absolute favorite thai dishes thai basil chicken got this i don't know kind of looks like rice. it's like a I don't know, I guess it's like cheese egg on top of rice. Got these fancy cucumbers. Then for some micronutrients and some more protein. Got this continental breakfast thing. Got some eggs right here, spinach, tomatoes, salmon, avocado toast. Super well balanced breakfast. I mean, not bodybuilding friendly. You obviously want a little bit more protein. But let's give this a try. We're not here to bodybuild. We're here to eat some good food. Oh, that's a big chili. All right, let's just go for it. Mm. Yeah, I like this. So good. I love Thai basil. So fucking good. Go to you guys, go to your nearest Thai restaurant, get some good Thai basil. Mm.